What makes for excellence in heart care? It starts with one of the most amazing teams of heart surgeons and cardiologists that I've seen assembled under one roof and the region's leading technology in a new $40 million facility. This is the nationally recognized Heart and Vascular Institute of Eastern Kentucky at Pikeville Medical Center. Areas throughout Pike County were affected by the flash flooding conditions on Thursday, February 17th. Nee Jackson expands on the details. Last night's rain uh, and the flooding that we had last night was uh, more of a flash flooding type thing. Um, resulted in some low-lying areas, uh, Lower Johns Creek, which floods uh, is, is a frequent low-lying flooding uh, area, as well as the Toller area. Uh, and the back alley or Main Street in Belfry. And uh, the Tug River now is at 25.9 foot. Uh, they're expecting it to raise uh, until up to about 27 foot, which is flood stage, um, which will also um, block off the mouth of Turkey Creek and 292 West, just below ARH Hospital in South Williamson. So uh, those areas will be blocked in for a while this evening until uh, the Tug River receives. The Leviza Fork is estimated to crest at 33.6 feet at 7 p.m. As waters continue to rise in certain areas throughout the county, it is very important to stay vigilant and safe while driving on the roads. Don't drive through flooded roadways, flooded areas. If it's even close, find another route. Don't because as the evening comes in, it gets dark, reflections of light off of water, uh, things may look like, you know, it doesn't look that bad and people will try things. Don't do that. For more information and updates on flood conditions, you can visit the Pike County Emergency Management Facebook page. For Mountaintop News, I'm Kelsey Dean.